Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate working at Microsoft. And today I'm going to show you how you can set up the Azure Cloud Shell and start managing your Azure resources using the Cloud Shell. So here we are in the Azure portal and to get started with the Cloud Shell, you just go up and click on the Cloud Shell button. This will bring up the Azure Cloud Shell. And if you run that the first time, you will be like, you can select if you want to start with the Bash or the PowerShell experience. In my case, we choose the PowerShell experience. I can then select the subscription and also the region where the Cloud Shell will be running. I can also select the resource group where the storage for the Cloud Shell will be deployed in. I can also use an existing storage account and an existing file share if you have them ready. I can also let the Cloud Shell create new ones if I need to. Now I click on attach storage and this will bring up my um, Cloud Shell container and attach my storage account as well as my Azure file share um, to basically give me my personalized experience uh, for myself. This again will take a couple of seconds um, to connect that terminal and connect the storage account or the Azure file share uh, to my container. Now, um, when it's loaded, I can modify the shell a little bit. I can change the font size and also the font itself to make it a little bit more friendly. Um, and from there, I can then use different CLIs. For example, I can use the Azure CLI to manage my Azure resources. And I can also just browse the file system as I can do in Bash, for example. So I have a folder called Cloud Drive and in that folder, I have a scripts folder. And here I have stored two scripts, uh, which create virtual machines. So let's run one of them. And this is a CLI command. So I just run that and this will create a new virtual machine uh, in the backend. So we're not waiting for that to finish. So we switch over to shell.azure.com, which also allows me to run Cloud Shell uh, without going to the Azure portal. And the great thing here is it also locks me in directly to my Cloud Shell experience. Again, I can change the font size here and I can also switch from Bash to the PowerShell experience. So I quickly confirm that. And this will load then the PowerShell experience for me. It will also do the authentication for me because I'm already logged into that web portal um, there's no need for me to do that. Um, the Azure Cloud Shell does it for me. I'm logged in here now and I can run different PowerShell commands. So I can, for example, do a get command, get ACVM. It lists all the commandlets I have available here. I can also do a get help for get ACVM, for example. And this, as in every PowerShell experience, gives me the help file with the information how I can run and can use that PowerShell commandlet. I can also run other PowerShell commandlets. So for example, if we could have a quick look, there is also a PowerShell module for Azure Active Directory. And you can see I have then the PowerShell commands for Azure Active Directory available directly here. I can also basically run then diff those different commands, obviously. So let's say get ACVM, let's just give the name and say, um, okay, all the VMs starting with Lin. And this will list that. And this is available since I think the Power Azure PowerShell module 1.5, where I can use things like that. So I can also do Azure get ACVM and then resource group name and then all the resource groups which contain the word or all the VMs which are in the resource group contain the word Cloud Shell. So again, this is not something fancy. This is like the, using the Azure PowerShell module within the Cloud Shell. I already have a couple of modules ready here. So if I have a look, uh, obviously already loaded some of the Azure modules. I can also list all the other modules which are available in Cloud Shell. Here I can see I have the AC modules with all the um, Cloud Shell, uh, with all the Azure PowerShell commands, but I also have something for 
Managing Exchange Online in Office 365, or I also have the SQL Server um, PowerShell module already pre-installed and ready for me to use. If I don't have a module available, I can use um, package management to basically install a other PowerShell module. So if I do find module, this will go to the PowerShell gallery and list me all the PowerShell modules which are available there. I'm not gonna let that finish here, uh, but if you're for looking for a specific one, you can, for example, look for Visual Studio. Star. So this will just list you all the um, modules with Visual Studio. Uh, just make sure that this runs with PowerShell Core, since the experience running in the Azure Cloud Shell is PowerShell Core and not the full Windows PowerShell. With that, I hope I showed you how you can set up the Azure Cloud Shell and how you get started with it.